Look at Ephesians chapter 3. Okay, so this one is going to be probably the most helpful for you in doctrine, okay? This will be helpful for you extremely. Now, the thing is this. There are so many verses in your Bible that seem to show something different from what Bible-believing Christians believe in, okay? There's so much false doctrine out there. They will be saying stuff like, uh, you know, you'll see that there are some elements of works involved for salvation. And then that's where you get confused because there are verses in the Bible that seems to show works that accompany your faith for salvation. Now, what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to give you the whole outline of this, but it's going to be judged on one fact, which is going to be very easy. Revelation chapter, excuse me, Ephesians chapter 3 Verse 1, for this cause I, Paul, the prisoner of Jesus Christ for you Gentiles. See that? Paul is addressed to who? Gentiles. All right? It's not for Jews. Gentiles. If ye have heard of the dispensation of the grace of God, which is given me to you word, how that by revelation he made known unto me the mystery as I wrote afore in few words. So you'll, no, uh, you'll notice right here that Paul, he, his ministry is to Gentiles. Look at verse 8. Unto me who am less than the least of all saints is this grace given, that I should preach among who? Gentiles, the unsearchable riches of Christ. Okay, now here's something that you've got to understand that will be extremely helpful to you. In verse 1 all the way through verse 8, the Apostle Paul's ministry is to Gentiles. Now to find your right doctrine see which verse applies to you doctrinally, you have to see which group of people it's applied to. Okay? Now we're going to go from beginning to end right here. I'm going to generalize it so it can be easier. In the Old Testament right here, we see that the Lord was using Jews. Gentiles, they had to convert to Judaism or join the Jewish people at that time. But after Jesus Christ died on the cross, we see here a transition. We will call this Acts. That's why it's called Acts, the actual actions of the who? Apostles. So this is extremely important to understand. During the apostles' time period, there's a transition here, okay? It was Jews, but it was transitioning to Gentile. So in the book of Acts, this is undoubtedly true. Why? Because read the book of Acts, Acts chapter 14. Paul says we turn from the Jews to the Gentiles. Look at uh, Acts chapter 28. Paul says, you know, God's sick and tired of you Gentile, uh, Jews, so we're going to turn to the Gentiles. Look at the general epistles, which is like near the end of the apostles' ministry. They were turning to Gentiles. A lot of them were turning to Gentiles that time. So you'll see right here it was transitioning during the period of the book of Acts. Then we come right here to the church age. Now Paul's epistles, Pauline epistles, they're addressed to who? Church. Look at Romans to Philemon. All the address is to church, 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 and church. When you look at Timothy and Philemon, these are members of a church. So we do know that Pauline epistles, Romans to Philemon, is the church age. So who do you think is you? Do you think you're uh, the Jews here, or do you think that you're here, the church? You're the church, right? Okay. So we see right here a transition. What's going Jew to Gentile? Uh, let me get rid of this line, because there's no clear line here. It's a transition. In this transition, who is it mostly aimed to now? Gentiles. Now, there's no doubt about that. If we see a saved Jewish Christian, who does he, which group of people does he join more? Is it Gentiles or Jews? It's Gentiles. One of the hardest group of the people is a Jew. All right? They're even harder than Muslims. Look at missionaries in Israel, okay? One of the hardest people to reach. There's no doubt this is not Jews today, okay? There's absolutely no doubt. It's the age of Gentiles. So we see right here that God switched from Jews and then he went to Gentile. So then instead of Gentiles joining Jews, now the Jews had to join the Gentiles what they were doing. 
From here, we see the tribulation. And God goes back to the Jews again. Then we see the millennium. And then which is the nation that God's going to rule? Israel, right? So it goes back to Jews again. Now here's the idea right here. Since Paul is to Gentiles and that's for us, any verse in the Old Testament, okay, now pay attention now, any verse in the Old Testament, any verse that's in the transition of the apostles, any verse that has to do with tribulation, any verse that has to do with millennium, is non-applicable to Christians. The only application to Christians is right here. See that? This is it. Pauline epistles, Pauline epistles, Pauline epistles. So let's cover a lot of the verses that seems to show heresy, okay? So one example, it's Acts chapter 2, verse 38. The Bible says, repent and be baptized for the remission of sins. So it seems to show baptism for salvation. Now, we can easily debunk this. Why? Because it's what? Acts. It's a time period of a transition dealing with Jews. Is it Jewish people? Yes, because if you look at the verse behind it, verse 37, and the verse after it, verse 39, it's to the Jews, it says. Jews. All right, let's cover another one. Hebrews 10 and uh, 4. The, excuse me, not 4, 6. If you look at Hebrews chapter 10 and Hebrews chapter 6, it says if you fall away, you can't be renewed to salvation again. So you fall away, lose your salvation. All right, that's a problem, right? No, because what, what, look at this. What is this? Hebrews. See that? Hebrews. That's not Romans to Philemon. It's Hebrews. So we know that doesn't apply to us. It's for Jews. Not only that, this is even more apparent when you look at chapter 1, when you look at chapter 1, verses 1 through 3, I'm doing it all from memory, it's and chapter 2, if you look at these two passages, it's referred to the last days. Last days. So it's tribulation. Tribulation. So let's go right here. Review again. Old Testament. Genesis through Malachi. It's going to be an Old Testament setup. Okay? Acts of the Apostles. So we see in this time period, it's going to be the book of Acts, as well as the general epistles. General epistles are the book of Hebrews to, Ju uh, Hebrews to Jude. And then the next one is... Uh, Matthew, Mark, so the only leftover besides these is Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, and Revelation. So let's say the rest of the apostles' writings, okay? Apostles, apostles. So here's the idea here. Acts of the what, again? Apostles, right? So it's a time period of what? Transition, right? So when you read Acts, when you read Hebrew to Jude, when you read Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, and Revelation, you got to keep an open mind that it's a transition back and forth with Jew and Gentile. So there's going to be Jewish stuff and there's going to be Christian stuff. There you go. See that? So you got those books covered. The other books, Romans to Philemon. We know that's for Paul's era. Now, tribulation. We know which books belong to the tribulation is general epistles. General epistles. How do you know that? Well, we covered some of it. Hebrews, right? I showed you. It's for the last days. Not only that, James chapter 2. Let's cover another one. James 2.24. It says that you ha you're justified by faith and works. Okay, that's a problem right here. We're saved by faith and works. No, because look at James 1.1. 1, 1. It's to the 12 tribes of Israel, Jews. Look at James 5.3. It's what? Last days, again. So it's Jews in the tribulation. Uh, Jews in tribulation, where's that? Jews in what? Tribulation, there you go. Not only that, look at the book of first, uh, so the leftover general epistles, first, second Peter, first, second, third John. What does it say? 
It talks about the Antichrist. It talks about the last time. It says last days. It says end. So we see right here the general epistles apply to the tribulation. Now the millennium. How do we know the millennium? The millennium you will find in Old Testament verses as well as Matthew 5 through 7. So Matthew 5 through 7 is the millennium. Well, how do you know that? Simple. Because if you look at Matthew chapter 4, chapter 4, Jesus is preaching the gospel of the kingdom. Look at chapter 5, the famous Sermon on the Mount. It says kingdom of what? Heaven, heaven, heaven. Kingdom of heaven, kingdom of heaven, kingdom of heaven. This kingdom of heaven is the earthly kingdom that God's going to bring. How do you know that, Pastor? Because if you look at Matthew chapter 11, and I'll turn over there just to make sure it's right. Matthew 11, and I think verse 12. It shows that this kingdom of heaven is an earthly kingdom. It is not a heavenly kingdom. Yes, Matthew 11, 12. And from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven, okay, is that heaven or earthly? It's earthly because suffereth violence and the violent taken by force. See that? We live in a day and age, everyone's fighting over an earthly kingdom. So there's no doubt about that. So this earthly kingdom, kingdom of heaven, that God's going to bring is the millennium. So there you go with everything in the Bible so you don't get messed up in doctrine. Don't we have to keep the Sabbath for uh, Sabbath? Because the Bible says in the book of Exodus we are to observe the Sabbath. No. What, what is that? What is that? Genesis to Malachi, right? What is that? Old Testament. Jews. All right? Well, you know, don't we have to observe dietary laws? You know, I'm going to be a vegetarian. It says you can't eat this, you can't eat that. No. Genesis to Malachi. That's Leviticus. That's what? Old Testament. Who's that for? Jew. Oh, well, you know, uh, it says faith and works for salvation at the book of James. No. What is that? James. See? James, general epistles. That's for who? Jews in the tribulation. Well, in the book of Hebrews, it says that you, if you're going to fall away and you've got to renew to repentance. No. It's what? What is that book? General epistle. Jews in the tribulation. Well, in the book of 1 John, it says that if you really have faith, then you would keep his commandments and you would love God. No, 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 no. What's that? General epistles. That's what? Jews in what? Tribulation. Tribulation. By the way, let me add this too. If you look at the book of Galatians, which we won't turn to, but in Galatians chapter 2, Paul said this, the apostles, John, Peter, James, therefore who? Jews. Jews. That's their ministry. That's what he said at Galatians chapter 2. But Paul said, but me is for who? Gentiles. Gentiles. Let's see. Well, you know, uh, I got to do this. I got to do that. No. So look at any of those books in the Bible, any verses they quote. Acts 2.38. You got to repent and be baptized for the remission of sin. No. What book is that? Acts. Acts. That's what? The transition era. Transition era. So remember, Old Testament, transition era, church age, tribulation, millennium. Well, in Matthew chapter 5, you know, uh, Ma uh, Matthew chapter 5, you can't call your brother a fool, otherwise you go to hell. No, oh, who's, who's this? That's love the kingdom. Jesus said fool. Paul said fool. I even said fool. You fool. I'm going to hell, I guess. <laughs> no, you see, the thing is this, is that Matthew 5 through 7, right? What is that? Kingdom, kingdom. So millennium, millennium. Jews, Jews, Jews again. Look at chapter 4. Gospel of the kingdom preached through where? Judea, Jerusalem. Jews, Jews, Jews. So this is the outline of everything that will be extremely helpful for you when they pull up heresy. No matter, okay, so when they pull up a verse, look back again here, okay? What book, what chapter is it, okay? Once you find the book and chapter, See which book and chapter here fits in this timeline and group of people. See that? They jump to Matthew 5. Then you know it's millennium, right? Because you see it here. They jump to the book of James, too. You know this is tribulation, right? Because it's mentioned right here, general epistles. They mention the book of Acts, 238. Then uh, you know this is at a transition era. Acts is right here. So this chart will be extremely helpful. How do we know all those books don't apply to us? 
but uh, our position is different. Because who is us again? Who is us again? Right here. See that? This is evident. All Romans to Philemon is to the church. I explained that. Paul mentioned his ministry is to the Gentiles, not to the Jews. And that was proven in Ephesians 3, 1 through 8.